Hello and welcome. I'm Dom Hale for Australia's Mining Monthly and Mining Magazine. I'm here today with Eric Vlott, Global Manager, Tailings and Backfill at Weir. Weir creates innovative engineering solutions for minerals and mining technology markets. And today, Eric will share how Weir is helping reshape tailings management through innovation, integration and sustainability. Eric, it's a pleasure to have you here today. Thanks for, for welcoming me and thanks for having me for the interview. Great stuff. So let's start by asking what is driving the shift towards coarser grinding and fines devoid tailings? And how do these changes align with broader sustainability and ESG goals? Yeah, that is a very good question. And um, I think I think it is good to focus on a full flow sheet approach, approach and a more holistic approach in, in looking at what the impact of a flow sheet is on tailings. So what we probably all know, but what we might tend to forget sometimes is that what we do on the front side of the flow sheet, so the combination side and the mill circuit has certainly an influence on the tailing side of the flow sheet. So everything is connected. And if we look at the problems we have around tailings, it's usually around fine tailings, you know, around, around the sub 20, 30 micron material. So if we can avoid um, generating that material by not grinding uh, to, to such a fine content and keeping it coarser, we have certain benefits. Now, one of the main benefits is that we basically save energy and we save wear and we save um, water probably in the full um, combination circuit and in the mill circuit. But we also generate the material, uh, which is coarser tailings, which will give us less hassle at the tailing storage facility. And by also having coarser tailings, we can um, regain the water back into the process much easier. So all of that uh, is basically helping us in the ESG approach by using less energy, using less water, um, trying to avoid carbon, carbon emissions, depending upon the source of energy. And all of that um, uh, basically relates together. So in light of that, how is we're uniquely positioned to address those challenges of, of handling that coarser, more abrasive slurry streams across the entire flow sheet? So what you can see is that in the whole technology development and in the product development space, we are actually focusing on um, equipping the flow sheets with the right technology for that coarser material. So when we look at uh, using HPGR, when we look at coarse particle flotation, that already fits into the development of a coarse circuit in the comminution space and in the mill circuit space. But um, also looking at uh, understanding how that coarser material behaves. So if we look at pipeline transportation solutions, we have to think about the uh, Artera piping, which is extremely suitable for low friction coefficients for transporting core staining. So we really focus on making sure we have we have products in our technology development that populate the flow sheet, but we also make sure that we understand how that technology works and how then we can connect these pieces together. Understood. And so when it comes to real world application, can you walk us through how we as integrated solutions from grinding to tailings are validated and deployed in the field? Yes, I can certainly do that. And a lot of that has to do with testing the materials up front. So we have the flow sheets already more or less ready as blueprints. So we can actually calculate the influence of what a flow sheet does. And if we, for example, then have a coarse grind and we take out this much tailings, we understand what the mass balance of a flow sheet is and how we can basically work with the cut sizes, how we can introduce cyclones to separate coarse and fine tailings from one another. But all of that still needs to be validated in real life. So we have test centers around the world where we can either test the grindability of the material. We can also test how the material behaves in flotation with our partners. We can also test ourselves the dewatering capabilities of the tailings at the weir technical centers. We can look at the transportability of tailings. So all of that then forms that deployment where we understand from, from concept to realization what the actual samples are going to do. And then, of course, uh, we, we validate in real life after commissioning of sites 
how it is actually working. So we take that feedback loop and we learn from, from, from that part as well. And in terms of impact then, Eric, how are we as technologies helping customers manage where energy efficiency, reliability and next generation tailing strategies? So I think I think we have two aspects that come into place there. So I think um, one of them has to do with the um, technology development around materials. So we are constantly evolving the materials that we use in those circuits to reduce the wear of uh, equipment, and that is a um, that is a um, very important uh, piece of what we are doing in the whole uh, development space. Another one is digital. So with the next solutions. You actually want to monitor how your equipment and how your flow sheet actually is performing. So with digital solutions, you understand, for example, first of all, how a pump is wearing, what in a pump is wearing, what is happening with a cyclone, and what is happening with an HPGR machine. So you understand the wear of the individual components and the power usage and energy. But then if you take that to a higher level, you understand how these products operate in the flow sheet. And then you can adjust settings to basically increase water recovery. If you see that some things are off, you can actually then influence those process parameters. So I think it it, it really comes down to a part of the physical development of, of the actual products, but also the other space, which is really, really important, is the digital development in Next, where you understand how your site operates. Well, thank you for that. Uh... And finally, Eric, could you share perhaps some recent field examples where we as solutions made a measurable impact on tailings management and, and overall plant performance? Yeah, we, we certainly have some of them. So, um, and without um, going into all the details also, because uh, it, it is, is about specific uh, customers, we could say in South America, there is a lot of development around course tailings. So, um, we work on a, a project in Mexico where actually the customer was looking at a filtration plant to handle their full tailings, where through the um, application of a cyclone technology and screen deck technology, we were able to reduce the amount of filter presses required for that site by 50%. So that saves a, you know on space for, for the site because the site was space constrained. But it also saves on energy usage because filter presses usually use more energy compared to a cyclone and a screen deck solution. Another one is in the Chile area where we are going more and more down the track of um, separating coarse and fine tailings for, for copper, where then the coarse tailings are used for damp construction. And um, that development has been going on already for a number of years. But now we see that with the development of hydraulic dewater stacking, um, we are actually taking this to a next level where we then also try to change the deposition method. So that's not a technology that's owned by Weir, but Weir supports the development of hydraulic dewater stacking um, enormously. Um, for example, if we look in uh, Australia, uh, where we tested the terraflowing concept, we actually saw that by recombining the coarse and the fine tailings again to a paste we we had really big successes but in australia it also allowed for the introduction of coarse tailings for dam construction all of a sudden so it, uh, it, it was like the market wasn't really aware customers weren't really aware that that solution already was there in another part of the world and then that became very much known in australia as well so I think these are four of the examples where you can already see that there is a lot of development going on and that will continue to move forward. Well, look, thank you very much, Eric, for coming on today. It's been absolutely enlightening. Today, I've been speaking with Eric Vlot, Global Manager, Tailings and Backfill at Weir. I'm Dom Hale. Thanks for watching.